meeting each second Tuesday at 7 p.m. in Key Street Ministries Mini Chapel. Help the mission trip to Paraguay build houses and finish a church. Mark your donation to Paraguay, team, house, or church. Watch for Thursday's Thoughts each Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Ladies' Brunch will be Saturday, May 4th. We have an opportunity to serve dinner for the Cleveland Emergency Shelter, Tuesday, April 30th. Learn about a Seder Passover meal, Sunday, April 21st at 5 p.m. The University Evangelistic Singers will be joining us on Sunday, April 14th at 10.30 a.m. Welcome to Key Street Ministries, where our vision is to pursue God and live with purpose by serving God's people. Several groups meet on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Welcome to Key Street Ministries, where our vision is to pursue God and live with purpose by serving God's people. Several groups meet on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. KSM Youth Group meets in the Family Life Center. The Together Life Group meets in the Family Life Center classroom at 7 p.m. College and Career Class Studies, God's Masterpiece, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. We would love to get to know you. Fill out a Connect card or use the QR code and let us know how we can help. can't make it to Key Street on Sunday morning, join us on YouTube anytime. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. KSM supports our children at the Myanmar Orphanage. Use the PushPay app or go to ksm.church or use this QR code to contribute. KSM Kids has a staffed nursery for kids ages 3 to 36 months. 
KSM Kids has Kids Church Junior for children three years through kindergarten and Kids Church for first through fifth grades. The men's breakfast happens every Thursday morning at 6 a.m. at the Rebel Restaurant. Happy birthday to Anna Lasea, Renee Kane, and Torcha McPherson. The Court of Three Strands Christian Writers Group provides education, encouragement, and accountability for all writers, meeting each second Tuesday at 7 p.m. in Key Street Ministries Mini Chapel. Help the mission trip to Paraguay build houses and finish a church. Mark your donation to Paraguay, team, house, or church. Watch for Thursday's Thoughts each Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Ladies' Brunch will be Saturday, May 4th. We have an opportunity to serve dinner for the Cleveland Emergency Shelter, Tuesday, April 30th. Learn about a Seder Passover meal, Sunday, April 21st at 5 p.m. University Evangelistic Singers will be joining us on Sunday, April 14th at 10.30 a.m. Now let's join the KSM worship team. Praise the Lord. It's so good this morning to see you in the house of the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord? I want to read a passage of scripture, if you will allow me this morning, from Psalms chapter 98. The Bible says this, O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His righteousness he has revealed in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All of the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. And I love this verse right here. And verse 4 says this, Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in song. 
Rejoice and sing praises. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of a psalm, with the trumpets and with the sound of a horn. Shout joyfully before the Lord, the King. Amen. This morning, we want to lift up the name of the Lord in this place from the very beginning of our time as we've gathered here today. And I want to say this this morning before we go any further into our service today. We are expecting God to reveal His salvation, to reveal Himself even here today. And we just ask the Lord just to speak powerfully in our time together. I don't know what your need is this morning, but I know a God. I know the Lord who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we could ever imagine, ever think. And we're looking to Him today. Amen. The author, the finisher of our faith. I would love for you to stand with me all over the building this morning. There are many needs. There are needs among us. There are folks that need a divine intervention in their family, in their lives, physical healing. I would ask this morning that you pray for Connie Kerbis. Connie sent me a text. She had a she had a mini stroke this morning, and, uh, and I want you to pray for her, even as we're praying in this prayer this time. We've had several, again, deaths in our church, and we're asking God to continue to strengthen those families who need just His comfort, who need Him in this hour, and God is able. Amen. Will you pray with me and welcome the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit in this house this morning. Father, we look to you our great and soon coming King. We honor you, Lord, in this place. We exalt your name, Jesus. We lift you up on high. Lord, I pray, Father, that you, Lord, would be exalted in this place. Lord, let your love, God, let your love shine forth in this place through song, through word, Lord Jesus. Oh, how we need you, Lord, even right now. Oh, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, that you would speak even right now in the heavenlies, Lord. We declare your kingdom come, Lord. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, we shout your name. We shout your name. Lord, put a new song, Lord Jesus, in our heart today. I pray for Connie right now, Lord. I pray, God, that you would strengthen her body. Lord, give healing right now. Give healing, Lord, we ask. All of those who need, Lord, a divine touch, Lord, in this service today, Lord, I pray, Lord. I pray, God, that you, Lord Jesus, right now would manifest your presence. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I want to encourage you this morning as a pastor of this church. I want to encourage you to open your hearts. I want you to, I want you just to, I would love for you to leave this place lifted up. I would pray that you this morning would just open your hearts from this very verse first again, very first song. And I want to welcome the evangelistic singers from Lee University. Gloria, thank you so much. Thank you for being here, all of you. Thank you for coming today. We bless you this morning. In the name of Jesus, amen.
Jesus. God, we just worship you in this place. God, you are our firm foundation today. 
God, we put our trust in you. We put our faith in you today, Jesus. Peace that
How many of you believe that Christ is your firm foundation? All right, that was about seven people, but how many of you really believe that Christ is your firm foundation? How many of you have ever been through a life storm and he's still your firm foundation? How many of you, it seems as if the winds of sorrow are going to blow you over, but Christ is still your firm foundation? My prayer is that Sister Connie right now will feel the presence of the Lord as we are feeling him in this room. As heaven is kissing earth right now, my prayer is that Sister Connie that so many of our students who are sick this morning, that they would feel Jesus as we sense his holy presence in this. Why would he fail now? <laughs> he won't. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. He's in the room. My name's Gloria, and um, I'm your sister in Christ. I'm a part of something that is so much bigger than me called Lee University, and on behalf of our president, Mark L. Walker, we bring you greetings in the strong and mighty name of Jesus, who will never fail. He won't. You remember that song that says, I feel Jesus in this place. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place, and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. There are sweet expressions on each face and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord sweet holy
we have tons of things to do. We have lots and lots of songs to sing and share with you, but if we rush on through like we're some kind of program and we miss God, then we've wasted our time. And how dare we waste time in God's presence? Because if we waste time, we waste our lives. We're governed by Kronos, but God is governed by eternity. Wow, I see so many friends in this place. I see colleagues. I see students. But even if my eyes have just lighted on your face for the first time, I see Jesus in you. I see the Imago Dei. I see the image of Almighty God. How sweet his presence is. Can we offer to him and those of you who are doing lyrics and if you have a list, I'm going a different direction. It's something that is on the list, but I'm, I'm going to go farther down the line. Can we offer to our Lord our total praise today? I know you've been doing it, but can we press in a little more? You are the source of my strength. You are the strength of my life. I lift my hands. I lift my life in total praise to you.
us with like the very best bad people in the world. Justin Basteo from Trinidad and Tobago. And on keys from Massachusetts, we have Joseph Pedersen. All right, we have a beautiful song called The Procession of the Levites that features our band. And so just take it away, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, no, gentlemen and gentlemen. <laughs> Procession of the Levites.
Come on, can we continue to bless the Lord? Amen. Come on, y'all. Don't be afraid to laugh. Don't be afraid to worship. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> My name is Carrington Booth, and I come uh, from Florida, by the way, of Jamaica, from my parents. And I am a graduating senior, and today I'm just here before you just to give you a little bit of a reflection of my time here at Lee. I'm a graduating senior this coming summer. <laughs> and I've been in EBS uh, my entire college career and there has just been so many different seasons and wavering emotions and sometimes I was less committed than others sometimes I was more in tune with what God was saying to me than other times but overall even just thinking now and just worshiping this morning it's always about coming back to that heart of worship. It's always about realigning with God and what he's given us, what he's, what he's telling us, what he wants to do for us. And it's been so many times when in certain aspects of my journey, I was a baby and I had to grow and I had to learn and not just jump into things. And a lot of times, it's misconstrued the idea of what I am accustomed to is what it is, and that is not the case. The biggest shock for me in my entire career was the vast diversity of Church of God. Because the way I grew up and what I was accustomed to was not the norm when I came to a university. And being a part of this ensemble and experiencing so many different experiences, I've been able to just listen more to where God has me, what God is telling me, and get out of what I know or what is common to me. Because the same way God led the Egyptians out of Israel, out of Egypt, and he was leading them to the promised land, they were so accustomed to being in bondage, they were so accustomed to being held captive that when what God was trying to give them was clearly in front of them, they wanted to go back. And my biggest thing that EVS has taught me is just to continue to press towards the mark of the higher calling. And while it is important to reflect on our past, to know where we're going. Today we're going to reflect on the very beginning of creation, starting in Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God mahoved upon the face of the waters.
like the birds and the bees. Yes. <laughs> and on the sixth day, God made man. And I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, so glad, glad. God
God's grace. If it wasn't for God's grace, you wouldn't be standing up here today. If it wasn't for God's grace, come on, clap your hands, clap your hands. Let's glorify. Let's glorify God today. Let's glorify because let's erupt this place. Let's erupt this house with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's erupt this place with the Spirit of God. somebody a high five and say, where would you be without his grace? Amen. You can be seated for a moment. You can be seated for a moment. Amen. 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 Yeah. Where would you be without God's grace? Where would we be? Thank you, Jesus. Get ready to take up an offering for EBS and bless them as they have blessed us. I heard yesterday or yesterday evening somebody shooting missiles at Israel, but uh, God's got it. Yeah, heard some people are having a hard time in our economy right now, but uh, God's got it. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so people sick in their bodies today. We've got a lot of people sick. Some folks have died, some families grieving, some people hurting. God's got it. I'm so glad when my life is messed up, his life's not. He don't get off his throne and say, Holy Ghost, what are we going to do about this? He's still, he's still God, and he's still gracious. Heard somebody say that mercy is God keeping me from what I do deserve, but grace is giving me what I don't deserve. God's grace. 
And as you give today, as you give, you are giving so that EBS and Lee University and that whole great group of people can keep sharing the good news about God's grace. And maybe in this room today, you have an experience or felt like you have an experience. God's grace, here is your opportunity to share in that grace, to receive that grace right now. Would you pray with me as we get ready to take this offering? Father, thank you that you're here. Your presence is here. You're doing great things. Nothing surprises you. Nothing is too hard for you because you're God Almighty and you're God all by yourself. Thank you for your people who are here. Thank you for EVS, Lord. We pray that even as we give this offering, you would bless them, that you would continue to anoint them, uh, the plans that you have for them. I pray, Lord, that they would fully uh, submit and completely surrender to what you have for them. And I know, Lord, that your plans for them are good. They, they're not bad. They're there to give them a, 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 a good end, Lord. It, it's your desire to bless them. So, Father, I thank you for EVS. Thank you for Sister Gloria. Thank you for Lee University. Thank you for all you're doing in this service today. If there's somebody here, Lord, that doesn't know you, Jesus, I pray they would come to know you as Savior and experience that grace today. We honor you, Jesus. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. All God's people said, amen. thank you for your giving today. Amen, amen. Good morning, church. How we doing? Oh, there we go. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well,
why we're, we've got a praise on our lips and in our hearts. We've been traveling all school year. This is our last stop for the school year. Through many dangers and toils and snares, we have already come. He's brought us through sickness, through financial distress. Our God has brought us over. Hallelujah. Listen, we've got Joseph. He's graduating. She's graduating. April's graduating. Carrington's graduating. We cannot be silent because we know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords has brought us over. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We just jumped in, but that's okay, because I think that was supposed to happen. Um, I'll be honest, it's really funny um, that uh, Mama G had asked me to speak with this song, because it's been on my heart to talk about it a little bit, but I didn't really know how. And, um, it's a little bit hard to say. You can be seated if you want. <laughs> I'll try to be brief. Um, so a really big part of my story that not a lot of people know, um, and I think that's okay, because I think sometimes we have to be selective with who we share parts of our testimonies to, because we have discernment with the Spirit. Praise Jesus. Uh, <laughs> um, but for those of you who didn't know, so my junior year was a really tough year for me. Um, like, like I said, I've always been kind of like a straight-A student, not because I'm good at it, but because like, the Lord helps me, um, and I tried to work my best to work hard. Um, and I just stepped into a season I had no idea how difficult it would be. Um, everything was piling in, and it just felt like I was full of despair. Um, my grandmother had died. I was having relational issues, and I didn't know it at the time, but I had a... I had an, like an anxiety disorder, um, and I didn't know that I was living with, and it was making my life really hard. Um, and so I was going through, and things were just piling up, and um, and it came to a point um, where the enemy had put in my mind to take my own life. But thank God, but God. And so I just, some people just don't get it. They just don't get it. Because, like, when I sing that song, it's because I'm in my right mind. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm graduating because of Jesus. Yeah. 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 So, I, somebody out here today, somebody's, there's some people who won't understand your praise, and that's okay. And that's okay. So, I don't know if, if you're out here today, and maybe you're feeling like you're full of despair you're full of hopelessness. But I just want to encourage you today that there is hope in Jesus. And not only that, I want to encourage you because sometimes in Pentecostal traditions, we have this thought that if my healing is not like this, then it's not healing. But that's a lie. Sometimes Paul calls it these thorns in the flesh, right? And they're meant to sanctify us and make us more like Christ, which I'll just be straight with you. It's not the goal to be comfortable. So if that's your goal, then you need to get a new goal. Yeah? Yeah. So, so I want to encourage you because my, my healing didn't happen overnight. It took people like Gloria inter intervening for me and walking alongside me, 
right? Because I, I was gonna quit school. I was a salutatorian in my senior class. This was never gonna happen. I texted her one night and I said, you know what, I'm done. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> but there's people like that, right, who step into your story. People like you guys here in Key Street. And so I just want to encourage you. The first time I sang this song, we were in the Bahamas, and I had just gotten the diagnosis, and I realized, oh, my gosh, this is what was making my life so hard. I have an anxiety disorder, and I was so discouraged because I had an answer, but it was hard. It's hard accepting your diagnosis. Lord, I have to live with a thorn in the flesh. But the Lord gently reminded me, you could be dead. You could be in the grave, but you're not. But you're not. So I just want to encourage you today that healing is coming. And it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen the day after tomorrow. But our hope is in the healer. Even if you don't, if you, if you don't see it coming, it's coming. And even if it comes in heaven, thank God it's coming. Thank God it's coming. So please just don't, don't give in to despair. Because that's what the enemy would have you to do. He would have you to say that your life isn't worth living. That there is no hope. But I just want to let you know that seasons do change. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to graduate. And I'm going to walk across the stage. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not even the best part. Do you want to know the best part? The best part is the Lord... The Lord's letting me go to grad school. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, and it's not, it's, I'm not done. And it's paid for. Danielle, why would he fail now? He won't. Listen, if you are in here and you're listening to grace and you're like, wow, I wish that could be me. That really can be you. Because our sister declared that healing is coming. Might not, ha might not be the way we want to label it, but the senior saints used to say, for life, health, and strength, for food, and for shelter, Lord, I thank you for waking me up in my right mind. Listen, if you have a need or somebody in your family has a need right now for emotional, physical, salvation, healing, would you please come? Some of you are going to come for somebody else, but come on to the altar right now. The altar is open. It's been open. And we'll wait. Prayer warriors, come on up. Come help play. Thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Christ is my
Jesus, we're, we're going to let you go, but all of the praise into worship, uh, ministers, those of you who play, those of you who sang, come past EVS. to worship EVS make sure that we surround the praisers the worshipers Judah make sure that we surround please for rehearsal, sound check, and it's so inconvenient because of what you have to go through to lead, because you're the first line of defense. The Bible talks about that the people who used to go even in front of the soldiers were Judah, the praisers. We get it. There's a whole lot more people that should have been here today if we would have our way. But God sent us as a Gideon's army to represent and to pour into you all, not because we're super spiritual, but because we get it. And the word from the Lord for you today, Keith Street praisers and worshipers who go first out in the battle is Galatians 6 and 9. And EVS, you need to listen to this too. Let us not get tired of doing what is right. For after a while, we shall reap a harvest if we don't get discouraged and give up. You cannot leave your post because God put you there. Well, I don't feel qualified. I don't always sing or play on key. Who cares? Because if God's put you where God's put you and he has put you there, sing that song like that's the last thing you're going to do. Play those chords. Play that, that bass line every time like it's going to be your last time. Because one of these days, you'll stop singing and playing down here, and you'll start singing and playing for all of eternity. What does heaven look like? It looks like me and you. What does it sound like? Just let it feel, fill the room. Get me into F if you're not already in F. Put me in F and then take me to church. Don't get tired of doing what's right. It's your job.
show what the kingdom sounds like, what it looks like. Get me into D, get me into dog. And then once you show the kingdom, then your life is worship to God. We have the enemy's old job. That's why it's so hard. He can't get back into heaven. And he certainly can't fight God, so he tries to fight us, Judah. Rosie, come here, please. Anna and Amanda come here too, and Guy. This is your lifestyle. And even at your darkest moments, don't ever forget how great our God is. God's called you to Key Street what is it, 4,000 Key Street Northwest? Cleveland, Tennessee, 37312? Okay. But you go live, right? So you go to the world. You cannot be silent. This is your job right now. to declare the praises of Almighty God. Sometimes it might be in Creole.
Praise the Lord. I want to say thank you, Lord. Thank the Lord for his love today. Thank you for showing up, coming, being here. I want to just say thank you all that's participated today. Oh, this is our first time, but it won't be our last time. <laughs> and I want to give God praise this morning for all that he has done. I believe the Lord has set some folks free here this morning. I believe the Lord has healed this morning. He's given liberty and some joy, restored joy this morning. And I just speak over all of you. I speak over you this morning and I just declare the glory of the Lord would shine forth through you and in you. Amen. And I just pray the Lord will continue to use you. I know this is your last, uh, your last uh, concert, time of worship, but it's not the last time your voice will be heard. And I just pray the Lord will give you boldness to declare the kingdom of the Lord and his righteousness in me tremendously this morning and blessed our church. Can you extend your hands this way this morning if you'll stand as we close out this morning? Will you extend your hands all over this building? We want to pray for all of these students that the Lord will continue. Sister Gloria, her wonderful husband, thank you this morning for being with us. Will you pray with me, Father, in the name of Jesus? We honor you, Lord. We honor you in this house today. Your mercy, your grace, your goodness to us. Lord, this whole semester, Lord, upon our students, you've been with them, Lord. You're going with them. We ask, God, that you would continue, Lord, to bless them, Lord Jesus. Overshadow them, God, by your grace, Lord. Every family, Lord, that's represented here today, Lord, I pray, God, that you would be with them, Lord, mothers and fathers, Lord, finances, Lord Jesus. I pray your blessings, God, upon their finances, Lord. I pray, Lord, for marriages, God, to be restored even now, Lord God. I pray for healing, God, where there might be cancer, Lord. You're able, Lord, to remove, Lord Jesus. You're able, God, to heal, Lord, today. Touch every family, oh God, Lord, every Every, every family, every mother, father, son, daughter, brother, sister, in the name of Jesus. Now be with the Lord throughout the end of this semester, Lord. I pray, God, that you would help them, Lord, in their studies, God. Lord, as they're completing, God, their the finals, Lord Jesus. I pray, God, that you would help them, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Bless you, God, today. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. We have an opportunity to serve dinner for the Cleveland Emergency Shelter, Tuesday, April 30th. Learn about a Seder Passover meal. Sunday, April 21st at 5 p.m.